Okay, so I'm a bit in a rush today. I literally went to run and get my Duncan. But for today's video, I'm just going to be doing a Dyson Air Wrap review because I'm going to do my hair right now. And I figured I should show you guys how it works on my hair. Pretty much what I did today. So if you guys want to see how I use the Dyson Air Wrap, you should definitely keep on watching. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel my name is Stephanie here on YouTube and if you love all things fashion luxury and lifestyle you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell to get notified when I upload new videos so basically what I like to do whenever I use the Dyson air wrap is basically the night before so yesterday I washed my hair and then I blow dried it with the Dyson air wrap pretty much the Dyson air wrap comes with six barrels I believe so this is pretty much what it looks like inside and I like to use which one is it there's two barrels that are very similar so they're both of these the brushes but one actually moves so I like to use that one just to like really follow with my hair when I'm brushing well blow drying my hair so one thing I will note is that I do have Botox in my hair so the roots of my hair I don't really focus as much um, just because it's already kind of like straight there so just keep that in mind, I guess, if you do have like curlier, tighter curls, then it is kind of hard to get the roots of your hair if you really want it to be flat. They do have this barrel actually that you can kind of move here. You can see the air build through here. And um, pretty much what this does is like it flattens it out for you a little bit obviously it's only going to really be the front part that it works on like the top of your hair but if you really want to get into like the roots like inside your hair it's not really gonna do the best job so honestly I only caved and got this because I have Botox in my hair because I know if I had my regular like coarser hair it probably wouldn't have worked as well I mean I still probably would have used it on my extensions which I'm actually going to use today because it's really good with that to blend it in but as far as just like my natural hair <laughs> probably wouldn't recommend it and but that's just like my type of hair that I have like obviously if you don't have like coarse tight curls then you should really honestly be fine but yeah basically let's just get into it so as I kind of mentioned, I am going to first put in my extensions and if you guys want to see a tutorial on this or more information, but basically I use Glam Seamless extensions. They are amazing. I have had this for about like three years. I actually have two different packs because one's longer and this one's a little bit shorter, but I just use clip ins and then I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my head right now and then try to blend it in now with the Dyson Airwrap with the smaller barrel. So it actually actually comes with two different sizes it comes with this thinner one for the curls and then this thicker one so I usually like to use the thinner one because it gives you tighter curls and also for my short pieces of hair I like to use this one since my hair is shorter and I feel like the thick one is better if you have like long hair and you want like looser curls so let me go ahead and just put in my extensions now also side note I should also say too a big reason of why I decided to use the Dyson air wrap is because it uses airflow instead of heat like a normal hair dryer would use so it's like an engineering that they kind of put where it's mostly airflow. I'm also like looking up other facts about it though too. So yeah, pretty much they just say the brand does claim that it is less damaging than comparable hot tools. And the air wrap was designed to measure airflow temperature over 40 times a second. So it's a really honestly nice tool. And like I will admit, like it obviously gets hot, but not as hot as like a regular blow dryer would if that makes sense so like it it does like seem like it's a little bit healthier for your hair so I would definitely keep that in mind if that's something that you're like also wondering about if it's like worth getting the Dyson Air Wrap.
Okay, so I basically have just like two pieces left. So what I like to do with my bangs, because I actually recently cut my bangs when I was at the salon the other day. So those I just like to set aside because they're kind of shorter and they're really thick. So I'm just going to use a different barrel actually on the Dyson Airwrap. So I kind of just like to twirl, twirl it up like this and set it aside for later. So let me just put in these last two clip-in extensions. Okay, so pretty much on here, sorry you can't really see the bottom of my hair, but that's pretty much where it goes to. But now I just like to brush it out and now I'm gonna go ahead and use that barrel, the thinner one, to start curling my pieces to blend it in with the hair extensions that I have on. So let's go ahead and plug in this bad boy. So pretty much this is what it looks like. And you just plug it in. Make sure you always hit the red button to start it, to start using it. Because obviously I, this is like the reset button. Okay, and then you all you have to do is just take this, twist it in, and usually it pretty much shows that it's locked here. Usually what I like to do is these are the settings. So basically you have on and off, and then you have um, as high volume as you want the airflow to come out. I obviously always have it at the max. And then you have the cool setting, medium, hot, and then high hot. I always put it at high hot because I definitely need that for my type of hair. And yeah, basically it's kind of weird with the air wrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair and start from the back first and kind of just take random pieces like this one's a short one so I'm gonna start with this one to try to blend it in but it's going to be kind of hard at first when using the air wrap but basically what you want to do is you're not going to wrap it like a wand or kind of like blow dry it like you normally would with a blow dryer you kind of want to let this wrap it around your hair on its own so as soon as I turn it on it's a little loud and See how it's like letting it wrap itself around? So I kind of just let it do its thing. And then I kind of go in and out over and over. And then I let it hold for a little bit. It's okay if it like starts wrapping some of my other hair as you can see. And then I'm just going to press this button right here to turn it off. And then I like to hold it for a little bit. And then pretty much the curl just comes out. So yeah, so now I have a little bit of a curl here. So I'm pretty much going to be doing that throughout my entire hair. Because um, pretty much all I'm trying to do is just blend in and make it a little bit curlier on the bottom. So you guys will pretty much see that. But pretty much this is what that curl came out looking like. So it pretty much focuses on the bottom and not so much the roots. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing that. A lot of people I know like to use the cool setting, honestly, to get a tighter curl than this. But like I said, my hair really just needs the heat. But what you could do is put it, I'll, I'll show you actually, I'll do a demonstration of that too. So let's take this piece since it's right in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and do this again. I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to put the cool setting now. So now it's starting to get cool on that end and then I'm going to turn it off and then kind of let go. So yeah, I mean <laughs> that really actually does make a really nice curl. But like I said, I kind of, I prefer this type of curl, honestly, versus this one. So that's pretty much what it looks like. So I, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and blend in the extensions now and do it around my head. Right now, this is the newer version of the Dyson Air app, so... All you have to do instead of switching barrels, because barrels, that's what you used to have to do. But now it just kind of has this arrow where you can just turn it there to do it on this side and turn it there to do it on this side. So once I finish on this side, I'm going to go ahead and turn this and start on that side. So let me just do a time lapse of me pretty much fixing this side of my hair so then you can see one side versus the other side.
much what it looks like on this side. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I'll retouch it a little bit. Honestly, the curls do drop at the end of the day. So that's why I, not, I don't do anything crazy, really. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. Since I am in a rush. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it and do the other side. So it looks a little crazy right now, but I'm going to brush it out and pretty much what I'm going to do right now for the bangs in the front, I'm going to go ahead and change the barrel now and then I'm going to use this one. So this one I kind of brush out my bangs and then scoop it back to get like that blown out look. So basically... Okay. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and put it over like this. Hold it for a little bit. Shut it off. My dad is making an appearance on my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> He's yelling at me, guys, because I'm taking too long. And I'm just going to hold this right here. And I kind of let it sit. And then I'm going to take it out, and it kind of gives you that blown out effect. But while that is happening, I'm going to brush out these curls because they're looking a little bit crazy right now. But, yeah, I'm just going to brush them out to get more of a looser curl look. So... As I'm brushing it out, you can already tell that it's loosening the curls and making it more of a nicer effect of a loose curl. So I'm going to do that as well to the back of my hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same on my other side here where the curls are looking kind of crazy as well. I don't like to brush them out completely and obviously sometimes I'll go and switch out the barrel if I still see like this piece I might redo and brush out. But for now, let me just take this out. Okay, so it pretty much looks like that. And then you kind of just want to flip it and play around with it because essentially what I want it to do is just go to the side more. I might have to brush it out or sometimes what I do is I'll redo it with the barrel if it's not cooperating. But it definitely gave me volume that's for sure. Like this side is starting to look a little bit better. Maybe if I brush this side out or redo it, it might look a little bit better. But like I said, over time, it is going to kind of calm down and the curls will be less. So I don't think I'm going to redo this side because it looks really nice. But I am going to try to do something with this one because I don't really like how it's sticking out like that. I feel like it probably won't because, you know, it's not going to cooperate on TV, but oh my god, look how nice this side looks. Love it. Love how I just said TV instead of YouTube. Um, okay. So, this one's a little bit better. 
I mean, I guess I don't mind it as much. It kind of frames my face a little bit, I guess. Like I said, over the, like throughout the day, it will calm down. But let's just redo some of the bottom ones really quickly. And then I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Okay, guys, so that is pretty much the final look let me know what you guys think i feel like you still can't really see but yeah this is what it looks like after the air wrap so let me know what you guys think comment down below if you have any questions <laughs> i'm literally this is what i do every time after i finish doing the dyson air wrap i just play around with it more but for the most part this is how it comes out i do try to do tighter curls but because i'm in a rush i was just doing little sections but yeah i'm fairly happy i guess with the way that it came out but thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to follow me on other social medias. I love to do outfit of the days on TikTok and also Instagram. And then I also post on shorts for YouTube three times a week. So make sure you guys follow me on other social medias. And I'll see you guys out in my next channel. I mean, oh my god, I'm messing up so much. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video.